Hello. Hi, is Stella there? This is she. Hey, Stella, this is RJ Bates calling about your property there on Yellow Top. I think you okay. had entered it on my website a while back and uh, said you might be interested in selling that property. Are you still looking to sell? Maybe, if the price is right. What's that right price? I don't know. Give well, me one. Ha! Sure. All right, well, I'm going to have to get a lot of information out of you so I can do that. What, uh, what What's going on with the property? Nothing. I'm living in it. All right. You going to tell me anything about it? I mean, because um, I'm, I'm assuming you're, is, we're going to have to talk about hundreds of thousands of dollars, so I need a little bit of info. Okay, I'm going to give you some. All right. It needs a roof. Okay. It, the air conditioner is three years old. Okay. So I know that's good. The hot water tank's probably five years old. Um, and I've got, uh, I'm trying to think of the floors. Laminate floors in it. Okay. The kitchen and bathrooms, and those are tile. Three bedrooms, two baths. And what else do you want to know? How long you lived there? Oh, I've been here about 15 years. Okay. How uh how old are those floors? Uh they're probably eight years old. Eight years old. Yeah. Are they still in pretty pretty good shape or do you think they might need to be uh replaced? They're still in pretty good shape. There's a couple of the ease, I don't know what you call it, but between the doorways. Yeah. There's a couple of those things missing, but other than that they look real good. Okay. What about what about the windows? Because I know that's kind of a big deal in Florida. Is that are yeah? They... Well, the window the windows are good. I mean, I haven't changed the hurricane proof windows or anything. They're just the they're the windows that were in here when I bought it. Gotcha. Is the been... is the square footage like twelve seventy eight? Is that correct? No, I think it's a little bit less than that. Okay. All right. So the if I, if I are pretty new. Are they? Are they stainless uh, steel or are they black or white or what are they? They're stainless steel and the stove stainless steel and black. And okay. it's gas. It's natural gas. The dryer's natural gas. If, if I were to say, hey, here's how much I can give you, and you said, yeah, that's a good number, how when would you want to close? Like, What's your timeline look like? 30 to 45 days. Okay. So you have a place to go in 30, 45 days? I will, okay. if the price is right. <laughs> You're like, I'll, I'll find somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I got you. All right. But the backyard's in pretty bad shape, too. It's just the grass. You're going to have to sod it or something. So it's just like dirt? There's no grass? Yeah. The, yeah. Gotcha. Anything else that would need to be worked on? or Rescreen the patio. Gotcha. No pool, right? No. Okay. I wish I wouldn't be talking to you. <laughs> I got you. All right, give me a few seconds here. I'm looking up to see see what I can do. So it sounds like it needs a little bit of work, but not like over the top full remodel, right? Right. right. I'm trying to see like exactly what you're you're saying. It's it's smaller than that 1200, but. Everything I'm seeing says that 1,200 square feet. Well, it may be. Yeah. Because even that is a little bit small for the, the neighborhood, to be honest with you. Yeah. Well, I do have one of the smaller houses. Gotcha. Which, funny enough, is not a terrible thing. Um, 
it's it's a lot worse to have the biggest house in the neighborhood than have the smallest. I'll tell you that. Right. It's a good starter home, and it's good for me because I'm here by myself. Gotcha. And I did, we did put brick pavers down on the patio. Okay. All right, I think, I think I've got an idea of what I can do here. I'm probably going to be in the low 200s. No, I'm not interested. All right. What did you have in I, mind? Huh? What did I you? I had the, like the high 200s. Because I was offered 389. By who? Open door. Did they come out and see it? Nope. So how long ago was that? Because a oh, couple months ago. So then they've got to come out. That well, first they're going to take out their fees, right? Right. Right. And then they got to come out and they've got to do an inspection, and then right. they're going to deduct. Well, if they decide to buy it, and then they've got to deduct all of the repairs that they're going to that are going to say needs to be done to the property. Right. So. Could you get the high twos from them? Yeah. And to be honest with you, it's a pretty smooth process because I've actually, I've sold probably 10 to 15 homes to Open Door. Uh -huh. I sold a lot before COVID to them. They, oh, wow. they, they now, they've kind of changed it up a little bit. Um, I actually have a video on YouTube about how investors should use Open Door because um, right. it, all open door is is another investor they just have you know hedge fund money so they just make a lot less margins the problem with them is is that there's certain things that they just won't negotiate on and so that's where sometimes like your house i think is a, a good one for you to go with someone like open door to be honest with you um because it's it's a new enough build where you don't have to worry about the plumbing being an right. issue which that's a big one for them cast iron plumbing is a non-negotiable they'll immediately just terminate foundation problems is another thing that just immediately they terminate on um but also the the fees and the repairs their repair numbers are really reasonable to be honest with you. a lot of investors complain about it and say well they're going to beat you up on the on the repairs not necessarily, because when they, they give you an itemized invoice that says, hey, we're going to have to replace the laminate flooring, and they show it, and it's like you can't really beat the price that they're saying it's going to cost for the laminate flooring. So to be honest with you, if you could get the high twos from them, um, I think that's a pretty good price, because what I'm basing it off of is about if your house was completely remodeled, what I said was $300 a square foot is what it, I think it could be worth. Cause I see other properties in the area that have sold for that. Now we do have some higher. We have a 328 square foot. We've got a 325. So that's $325 a square foot, right? Yeah. So I'm going, all right. Say if I say $325 a square foot, and then I say your house is 1278. That means your house could be worth four hundred fifteen thousand dollars if it was completely remodeled. Okay. Yeah. Honestly, they they offered three seventy nine. They did tell me they'd have to come in and deduct any repairs and all that good stuff. Oh yeah. So. Yeah, and I'm just trying to get away from doing that. So. I don't. So that's don't where you're, you're probably done. gonna. But see, you don't have to do the repairs. They're just going to come in. It's a, like a 30-minute inspection. Yeah. So see, if I say your house is worth four fifteen, I've got to then say I've got to deduct the repairs just like they are, and then I've got to build margin. That's where Open Door can beat me. They're willing to come out and do this for a bag of potato chips. I can't take the risk of something going wrong and I lose. And so for you... I would recommend 
they're probably going to be – they're going to give you more money. It's just going to be a little bit more of a hassle as far as dealing with them than it would be with me. Right. So it comes down to do you want convenience or do you want money? I'd rather have convenience. <laughs> I'm bad. I know I am. Then that's me. Yeah. But you take less money. Right. But then you don't deduct fees or anything. I'm just doing it up front. You know what I'm saying? Like, so whatever number I tell you, that's the number you're going to get minus a mortgage or prorated taxes or anything that you owe on the property. Right. Right. So if you don't owe anything, then that's what you get. Right. Well, I do owe some, but. So you, you, that would get paid off at closing and then you would get the difference. Right. Right. I do that. So. I mean, maybe you, 1278, 13. I mean, I could probably come in at 225, 230. Okay. Maybe, maybe they, you end up, I mean, what did they say they would give you? Three what? 379. 379. They're probably going to beat you up. Did they, did they tell you the fees up front? They told me, I think the closing costs were going to be like $30,000. Yep. So that's, you're down to three forty nine, dollars Right. And then they're going to hit, rough. and then they're going to hit you for the repairs. So, uh-huh. so if I'm at, you know, 225, 230, maybe you can walk away with 275, 270 from them. Maybe. Maybe they maybe they come out and they say we're not interested. Right. So again, if you want convenience, that's where somebody like us is better to work with. They're going to have a little bit more red tape because, to be honest with you, they're just employees. Right. You know, and the people that come out and inspect your house don't even yeah. work for Open Door. They work right. for a third party company, so they just come out and they'll just mark you for everything. And then they ship that off to a guy at a desk and he looks at it and he goes, oh, we need to replace five doors. Well, in their little system, a door costs $150. So five times 150, they, you know, they're just going to say, they're going to mark down whatever the inspector tells them to. That's just how it works. Yeah. And for me, you know, sometimes I've been in a position, like I said, I've sold multiple houses to them where it's, I've said, I want to get as much money. So I'm willing to go through the headache, meeting them out there, negotiating, hearing their, you know, the repair addendum and all of that. And then I close with them. You know, you have to close at their title company and and you have to fill out all these forms online and stuff. It is a headache. And listen, I work all day, every day on computers, but and it is a little bit of a headache, but it was what I was willing to put up with to, to get the money. So, yeah. so I don't know. I mean, that's, I'm just being as transparent as I possibly can be with you. You know, I mean, let yeah. you know, Hey, this is, this is, this is probably where they're going to be. And I'm knowledgeable in this because I've sold to them and I've done deals with them and I know exactly how it works. Right. Now let me ask you something else. If I make money off this house, which I will. Mm-hmm. They're going to hit me with capital gains taxes, right? Well, how long have you owned it? Oh, long years. Long time. So yeah. I'm not a, I'm not a tax expert, so I don't want I don't want to tell you anything that you know. But I I don't believe you're going to get hit with capital gains taxes because of how long you've owned it. That that's oh. now I I think you need to talk to a, a tax expert about that. Another thing right. is is you can reinvest that money as well. Yes, I could put the money in another house, which I Correct. thought I would do. Right. You, you know. There's a lot of different things that you could do there. And there's there's much, people a lot more not. Listen, what I do is I buy and sell real estate. And so for me on the tax side of things, I'm a real estate professional. So I just right. get taxed a, a flat amount because of the amount of transactions I do. So sometimes when right. it comes to like an owner occupant in your position, I would say, yeah. hey, there's a people a lot more knowledgeable about what that means to you. Um, yeah. 
Because to be honest with you, not many people will talk about that, just to be honest with you. As strange as that sounds, I think people just yeah. know, you know, the only two things that are guaranteed in life are death and taxes, right? Exactly. So. So can I get back with you in a couple of days? Absolutely. Um, what about, what if I call you on Monday? Does that give you some time to think about it over the weekend? And then I can call you on Monday and we can discuss a little bit further. Yeah, that would work. Perfect. Let me see what I work Monday. Hang on just one second. Okay. Okay. Okay, Monday I work 10 to 6. 10 to 6, and you're Eastern, so yeah. what is that my time? That is, I, I'm Central, so I'm in Texas. Um, 10 o'clock is 9 o'clock here, so 9 to 5. So I can call you after 5 o'clock here. So how about I call you at five? I'll call you at six thirty on Monday. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Hey, sa save my cell phone number so you have it. So when I call you on Monday, you know it's me. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Uh, bye bye. I'm just gonna let y'all know what you just saw right there was fucking magical. That's my favorite call. The other ones I just had to shut up. That right there was fucking skill. I don't care what anybody says. I read that shit like a book, baby. Watch me pump open door up. Well, really, I already knew what her pain was. What matters to you, ma'am? Money or convenience? I already knew it was convenience. Mm-hmm. Mm. Notes. Read this one. All right. Animal Farm. 2003. That means something to me. Boom. Offered 2.5, 2.30. She has an offer, um, open door for 279. Here we go. Hello, this is RJ. Hi, RJ. This is Stella Pollitt. How are you? Hey, Stella. How are you doing? I'm doing good. So I was just following up with you about our conversation that we had about Yellow Top. Did you... Uh, did you make a, a decision there between us and Open Door? All righty. Well, I'm glad you came to that decision. I, you know, it was funny. We we had such a good conversation, and I I felt like you were going to do that, but uh, but every time I I really strongly feel that way, I end up being dead wrong. So I'm glad that. You could. When you didn't answer the vote yesterday, I was like, oh, man, I don't think I don't think Stella liked me. No, you know, actually, RJ, I went home and I left my cell phone in the car and I didn't think about it until 11 o'clock last night. Oh, I gotcha. Well, that's fine. Well, okay, let's do this, Stella. So here's what I've got. Um, I've got your email. It's your, it's your name at gmail.com. So what I can do is, is I can write up a contract. I'll send it over to you in email and you can sign the contract right there. And then at that point in time, we'll go ahead and we'll open up title. And then you're occupying the property right now, right? Yes, I am. And you've got kind of a funky work schedule, don't you? Yes. So what days are best for us to come out and take a look at the property? Uh, 
Okay, next week I am off Monday and Thursday. Monday and Thursday, okay? Yes. And if there's another day, I can see what time I can be there. I can tell you. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send over that contract to you. Are you going to be able to look at that and get that signed today? Yeah, I'll get it signed after I get off work. I'll look at it after I get off work. I'll work again till 6. Okay. And then I'll let you know what I think. Okay, sounds good. I'll get that sent over to you and let me know if you have any questions, okay? I will. All right, thank, thank you, Stella. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. Boom! Take that open door. I told y'all, that was my best call so far in the 50 days. Boom, baby.